The helix entry motion is just that. It determines how the tool will enter the pocket. I'll select the parameters for the first operation. Then the entry motion. There are three main options. Off, which will force the tool to plunge straight down into the pocket. Ramp, which will have the tool move into the pocket as if it were traveling down a ramp in the helix option, which is the default. The helix option will cause the tool to spiral down into the part as shown here in the graphics, much like locking down a spiral staircase. I'll look at this option first. Mastercam will decide where to helix into the material based on the cutting conditions that I set in this window. Just like the graphic shows, the tool will spiral down into the material to the cut depth and then rough the pocket. The minimum radius the helix will take is defaulted to 50% of the tool diameter. The maximum radius is defaulted to 100% of the tool diameter. I'll try to leave these default values alone because decreasing the minimum radius can put too much pressure on the cutting tool and cause it to break, while well, increasing the maximum radius may cause a section of material to not be cut or be cut off all at once during the roughing floor pass. The Z clearance is how high above the material the helix will start, as shown in the graphic here. The default value of point 0.1 is fine. The XY clearance is the minimum distance the tool will stay away from the walls of the pocket during its helix entry. Something to keep in mind is that if this distance when added twice to the tool diameter is larger than the width of the pocket minus two times the stock to leave on wall, then the entry helix will fail. The plunge angle is the angle the tool will travel in the z-axis. Three degrees is very conservative, but more than ten degrees may break the cutting tool. And I'll accept the default value for now. The default direction of the helix will follow is clockwise. If the helix does not work, then the tool will plunge straight down into the material. Lastly, on this page, I'll tell it to use the plunge feed rate for the helical entry. I'll accept these selections and regenerate the tool path. Here in the graphics area, the helix entry can be seen. I'll launch the Verify Simulator and slow the simulation speed down. Then play the simulation. I'll pause the simulation here. Notice the tower of material not cut during the ramping motion. This tower is cut as the tool cleans up the bottom. And this may be a problem these towers of material can sometimes break off and cause the cutter to break. I'll exit the simulator and select the parameters for this operation. I'll change the entry motion maximum radius to 75%. I'll accept this change and regenerate the toolpath. I'll open the Verify Simulator again and step through the simulation. Again, there's a tower of material left. So I'll go back to Mastercam and I'll edit the parameter to 60%. I'll accept this new setting, regenerate the toolpath, and run the simulation again. This time the tower is very small. So I'll close the simulator. The small tower can be allowed to remain and I'll see how the tool actually cuts the part. But if it does break off and start snapping cutting tools then the maximum helix radius will need to be reduced.